inverse Laplace transform, and partial fraction expansion. Given some S domain function, determine the inverse Laplace transform. Partial fraction expansion permits the single function F to be expanded. Expansion to something like this is desirable because transforms in the Laplace transform table match these functions. However, this is a better match to the Laplace transform table entries. Several equivalent partial fraction expansions are possible, but this one is a close match to, well, a close match to these time domain functions. This one is obvious. And this one is obvious. This one will be obvious when the denominator is written in another form. The roots of the denominator are negative 2 plus and minus 4i. Therefore, s plus 2 quantity square plus 4 square is equivalent to the denominator. which makes this Laplace transform pair easier to recognize. And this one is similar. Now comes the intense algebra part where these four partial fractions are combined into one fraction as a function of a, b, g, and e. The common denominator is required for all four. This is the common denominator. This one has to be multiplied by the top and bottom of the first fraction. And this one has to be multiplied by the top and bottom of the second fraction. This one has to be multiplied by the top and bottom of the third and the fourth fractions. After multiplying, all four fractions have the same denominator. This becomes the numerator of the first fraction. This becomes the numerator of the second fraction. This becomes the numerator of the third fraction. This becomes the numerator of the fourth fraction. And then all four of these are added in the single numerator. The s cubed terms are combined and set to zero. The s squared terms are combined and set to zero. The s terms are combined and set to five. The constant terms are combined and set to six. This set forms four equations and four unknowns. Solving these four linear equations simultaneously yields the values of A, B, G, and E, which also completes the partial fraction expansion and also completes the inverse Laplace transform function F of T.